back everyone um, it's been a couple of months since we um, last made a video um, it was good it was nice to have some time out to be fair um, I was gonna make this video last week but there was a family emergency so it was a case of just bringing all the cars in shutting the doors the place is an absolute shit tip at the moment but I'm here today just to make this video uh, to give you an update on the Clio or Nicole as, as Lee keeps calling her and well we'll get started shall we so basically what I've done is taken the rubber door bump stops whatever you want to call them off the car um, filled them in and try to incorporate the back part of the side skirt with the rest of the body which isn't coming along too badly to be fair um, just waiting for a little bit of putty filler to dry uh, to fill in all the divots but this is the hardest part blending all this in it's coming along it looks it looks bad at the moment but once it's done I'll, it, it'll change the car it'll, it's changed the shape already which looks really good to be fair the bonnet is is, a, is another issue like I'll just spin this round and let's have a look um, so basically what we done originally is seal it all underneath with some sealant and uh, clamp it down um, and it started to crack around here again so this time we dremeled around filled the crack and um, obviously just going to let this fella dry on both sides we had the same problem this part of the bonnet was another issue had like a big had a big wave here when we picked it up and um, so we we've actually filled the wave in and we're just waiting for that and then we can smooth it all out the front bumper yeah there wasn't a lot wrong with that when we picked it up um, so basically it's just a case of filling all the small little divots in with some putty filler and then what I'll do is I'll sand them all out and um, you just give it a quick coat of uh, primer build, white primer build and um, just, just leave it until we're ready to paint the car. What we're going to do is um, refurb these wheels as well. Um, so yeah, we're going to refurb the wheels. Uh, do it ourselves we looked at buying a new set but why pay money out when they're already on there they look all right um, and what we're going to do to them hopefully will be something a little bit different we're going to incorporate with the uh, obviously the wheels the um, mirrors and the rear spoiler we're going to do something a little bit different a little bit quirky um, we've also chose a color for the car and we've gone out and bought ourselves a compressor and a gun um, and we know what colour we're going to do it so we're going to have a go this time at painting the car ourselves because last year we actually rattle canned the um, 106 and it came out really well but the problem was when it came to wet sanding it it took ages to get it right so the idea behind it really is to do everything apart from the MOT in this little shed um, that's what me and Lee always set out to do. We've done well with the first car. Um, and it's a learning curve as well. We um, also, Lee set the exhaust up. He's cut and um, bent a few pipes into place so that the exhaust, rather than sit in the middle here, will sit further out. Sorry about the focus. Um, Bought a welder about six months ago. It's been sitting in the corner. So went and got a mask and some rods and we're gonna re-weld new exhaust hangers and part of the exhaust together. Um, which should be done next weekend, which will be brilliant. What we're gonna do is cut around here, maybe just like cut around here somewhere and then blend all that in to make it look nice. But obviously, first of all, we've got to reattach this to the side skirt, which is, yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a mission, but we think it'll look better than just, 
just lopping it off there and filling it. Right, we've got another small issue with the spoiler. Um, over here, it was just stuck on. So basically, what we're going to so yeah, up here, you'll see that it was all just glued in place. Um, basically, what we got to do is either um, sort these holes out somehow. We're not sure how we're going to do that yet, but this side is okay. And the actual thread and these ones are gone where it's glued. So we're going to sort those out, which is not a big deal. Um, that must be the last thing on the list, to be honest with you. So yeah, basically, we're going to drive both these cars to Manchester from Kent. Um, which is a bit of a trek considering this thing over here, the old 106, she don't go that fast. Um, but that's what it's about, driving them. So, um, like I said, month, month and a half, you'll see the colour, you'll see the little bits and bobs we're going to do on the wheels, the mirrors and the spoiler. Um, but I'll leave it there. Stay safe. Catch you on the next one.